This project works on the open problem of delivering cinematic focus for casual videography. In cinema, focus is usually tack sharp and the large lenses give gorgeous blurry backgrounds. But it requires a tight script between actors and a cinematographer. Here, the focus puller moves manually from foreground to background actors to tell the story. This kind of focus remains out of reach for casual videographers. The problem is that conventional autofocus must guess where the action will go, and focus mistakes are baked into the video. This paper is about a new approach to pursuing cinema-like focus for casual videography. First, we commit to creating refocusable video, where we can refocus every frame after recording. We do this with synthetic defocus rendering, extending prior work from still images to full video. Second, we show it is critical to analyze future video frames to accurately drive autofocus tracking and transitions for casual videos. We call this look-ahead autofocus. This is an overview of our refocusable video renderer. We take videos with deep depth of field, such as from your smartphone as input, and RVR generates refocusable video with shallow depth of field. First, we train a convolutional neural network to estimate depth and extended dynamic range and apply an optical flow-based temporal stabilizer to impose temporal coherency. The defocus renderer takes an RGBD HDR video to render a shallow depth of field video. We train our custom CNN using a new diverse database of over 2,000 sets of photos. Image pairs are shot with small and large lens apertures as in previous work. And we also shoot photo triplets with varying focus to improve the quality of CNN depth estimates. Naively processing each frame separately gives unacceptable defocus flicker, as you can see on the left. Our temporal filtering on the right is essential. We improve on the defocus renderer previously used to train a similar kind of network, upgrading it to handle occlusions correctly. Our CNN learns to recover high dynamic range in the source video, which is essential for rendering cinematic defocus effects convincingly. Note the prominent bokeh balls on the right that are erroneously missing on the left. The result is refocusable video. In this result, we can pause the video at any frame and change the focus. Here, from the shovel, to people on the beach, or even to people in the ocean. Now, let's take a look at the next module of our system, Look Ahead Autofocus. Here we analyze past and future frames in order to drive focus tracking and transition decisions. The goal is to detect new focus targets, a sparse set of X, Y, T triplets that encode when and where to focus. LAF applies region tracking in between, followed by a synthetic focus puller to impose smooth focus transitioning. We propose three approaches, all the way from semi-automatic to fully automatic, on how to detect new focus targets. The first approach is via hand annotation. We build an RVR LAF GUI that incorporates a region tracker. The user only needs to select a sparse set of new focus targets to indicate when they want the focus to change. Here's a demo of our RVR LAF GUI. The video is rendered with our RVR pipeline focused on its optical focus depth, which is on the mango tart. Focusing fails when transitioning to the person's face. At this point, the user can pause the video, select the desired focus region, and create a tracker, which would then track the selected focus region correctly. The result is a video that is always focused on the desired subject. Originally, it focuses on the mango tart, then shifts to the face as annotated, back to the tart, and finally back to the face. Next, we take a step towards automation by doing scene-dependent video understanding, such as running a face detector, and an audio and action localizer to analyze past and future video frames. We demonstrate examples for scenes that contain conversations or actions, where the system automatically focuses on each person before they speak, or on actions before they occur. Take the conversational scene legs, as an example. Though. It has eight legs, it's probably a spider, and I don't want to come see it. Ah, uh, okay, I guess that makes sense. It doesn't look very friendly. We compute the intersection of the focus maps generated by the audio localizer in the face detector, compute the cluster center, and read the depth from the predicted disparity map to generate a focus depth plot. We then apply edge-aware filtering to the 1D temporal signal to obtain temporal discontinuities. We call these the new focus targets. The result is a conversation though. video, where the focus is always on the person who is about to speak. Spider, and I don't want to come see it. Ah, uh, okay. I guess that makes sense. It doesn't look very friendly. Here are a few more results on audio-aware lab. In this video, when the employee is called by her manager, AudioAware Laugh can correctly localize the manager who is speaking and focus on her instead of the person in the foreground. In this example, the focus transitions from the child to the musician at its expressive peak, and back to the child. 
Here are some results of applying ActionAware Laugh. In this result, something interesting is happening in the background. The dog owner throws a wooden stick and the Labrador begins chasing it. Naively applying shallow depth of field to the original video would incorrectly maintain focus on the person in the foreground. While ActionAware Laugh detects the action and can pull focus to the background before the Labrador begins its chase. Here we see some children playing in the background, with a plant in the foreground. Simply decreasing the depth of field would do the wrong thing, merely emphasizing the plant. Instead, ActionAware Laugh selects the action of the kid climbing up the hill right before he slides down. This result initially focuses on supermarket staff cooking in the foreground. ActionAware Laugh detects the child supported by his father in the background climbing to see the fish tank. The third approach is an attempt at fully automating video autofocus using a machine learning approach. We contribute ground truth focus annotations on a large scale video dataset using our RVR Laugh GUI to create this sizable dataset efficiently. In this example, we see a dumpling being picked up with a pair of chopsticks, and AFNet localizes the dumpling both spatially and temporally while being picked up. Laugh is then able to track the predicted new focus target to keep accurate focus on the dumpling. This video focuses on the foreground tree while a child unexpectedly runs into the frame. AFNet predicts such action as being a new focus target and correctly selects the child as a focus region. This is also closely consistent with our action-aware Laugh. Lastly, we show a comparison between Laugh and the Olympus EM 1.2, a high-end consumer camera with autofocus technology built in. We record the same scene with the EM 1.2 under f2.8 and a smartphone followed by RVR Laugh Processing. The Olympus tracks the food pretty well, but when making a larger subject change to the person, it fails to resolve the focus in the phone. In contrast, our look-ahead autofocus tracks both the food and the face correctly. Since the camera is shifting towards the face, it can transition focus to the face instantaneously. We believe this work reminds us of the promise and challenge of cinematic focus for casual videography. We hope our refocusable video render and look-ahead autofocus framework opens the door to fruitful research on this hard and important problem.